St. John's been a blessing to us really over the last 25 years since we moved to Kentucky because we're far away from both our families and it really has become our home. The church family in large measure is our family. I mean, we were both involved in the church at some level ever since we were kids. You know, I have grandfathers and uncles who are Methodist pastors, but we really didn't truly start, I think, to develop our faith you know, until we moved here. I don't think I had ever actually done a Bible study before I came to St. John. And the first one I jumped into was Disciple Bible Study, which is a nine-month survey of the entire Bible. In fact, Steve did it at the same time, but in a different class. And that has just grounded me through the many, many studies I've done since then, because I'm always, well, I always try to put things in context. I can't say I always know what they are, but... I can't imagine not being in a Bible study now. Learning God's Word and the fellowship that comes with that has just been wonderful for me. I see it. Another um, way St. John blessed us incredibly was raising our children here. Our son was five when we moved here, grew up in the church, although I do still remember him at around age eight asking why he had to come to Sunday school when he already knew everything there was to know about God but I'm pretty confident that he learned a little bit more even after that. And uh, when we adopted our daughter Emily, we actually brought her to St. John for a blessing from the pastor before we ever took her to our house. And I always felt, especially as a little child, she was more comfortable roaming the halls of the church than she was at home. <laughs> Much like that, we actually, because of our affiliation here, got to go on a mission trip to the Dominican Republic, which is something that we had never done before. I mean, if you didn't have an idea before about how much we have in this country and how blessed we are and how many blessings we have as a family, just a trip there and a chance to be in ministry and just be helping hands and, and just to see how happy and blessed people can be with a lot less more resources at least financially, than, than we have here was, was very much a blessing to us. It's hard to imagine what our life in Kentucky would have been like if we hadn't discovered St. John 25 years ago at the invitation of a friend. Um, we came here, Eric uh, immediately said, I want to go to that church, and being the five-year-old, of course, he gets to make that kind of call, right? But um, we stayed, and I can't Imagine not having all the friends and the faith building and everything else that we've experienced at St. John for all that time. Mm -hmm.